Hello, it's been uh, five days since my second prolotherapy treatment and just wanted to report in that uh, I'm actually really uh, sore or a lot more discomfort than I think I was last time. I think this is partially because uh, Dr. Fullerton addressed a lot more of my lower back, like my lumbar, maybe even my QL, um, and that's uh, a group of muscles that you use <clears throat> no matter what, like unless I'm lying down, I feel that I'm being used and it's kind of uncomfortable uh, sitting, standing, uh, leaning over, things like that. Uh, so I found myself uh, taking uh, the painkillers for a long, longer period of time than uh, the first time. And uh, the way that I remember the first week after uh, my first prolotherapy treatment, it was like, I remember it being like pain free because everything was uh, inflamed and, and uh, uh, because of that inflammation, everything was like locked down tight. And because of that, all the joints were stable and that stability provided uh, pain relief. That's not going on as much here. So uh, maybe it's because I'm in a better place. There's less of a difference. Uh, but it, it, you know, to, to be honest, it does make a part of me worry that maybe it's not as effective. I just have to, uh, keep, uh, remembering that this is just, each, each session is different, even, I mean, not only is how you respond to these treatments individual per person, but you can have a different response with the same person. So, uh, I just have to keep telling myself that I have to, uh, you know, just believe in the process. I'm sounding a lot like how I did uh, after the first treatment. Um, this is require a lot of uh, a lot of faith in, in in the treatment. So if you're skeptical already, then it's easy to just give up on it and you know start running and and just you know screw it and go back to the way you were and then eventually getting surgery. I, I guess, but. Um, I, uh, that's just not the, the route for me, and, and I've had success with this before, um, with, uh, torn labrum in my hip, so, doing this, um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better with regards to just the, the discomfort that I experience all the time in my upper back, I think is a lot less, uh, I'm not cracking my neck like the way that I used to. Um, and it feels like even if I wanted to try to crack my neck, I don't think I could. And I'm, I definitely don't feel like I want to do, try to crack my neck anyway. But, um, that's just how things are going. Uh, about to go, uh, to the, uh, SMU, uh, cow game in the NIT basketball. Um, wearing, wearing a playoff beard for my Mustangs. Uh, actually I just got... Lazy uh, with shaving since I didn't want to uh, since since being on painkillers that kind of just took away a lot of motivation, but um, now now I'm just growing it out, seeing how it is. So anyway, go SMU and go Mustangs.